Hey guys, Cameron with Race Pack, and I'm here in the Race Pack Lab Center to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, one of our most popular sensors that we sell in the VNet, which is a, an air fuel controller and sensor. A lot of people like to purchase a couple of these together, and when they purchase them, they'll get some sort of air when they're doing the programming and whatnot. And what I wanted to do is I just wanted to run through a little bit for you here to kind of show you what the programming is going to be involved after you have it... Uh, you know, wired throughout the car, you got your, your 12 or 16 volts power to the warmer and the sensor hooked up into the exhaust, etc. But I'm talking about uh, the data link software and what we need to do as far as the programming when you got a couple of these right into the system. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to open our, our configuration, which I've pre-done here. Um, whether you have a V300 SD or a Sportsman or IQ3 Drag Dash, this will all be different depending on what, uh, what it is that you have. But the functions after that will all be completely the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead with the power turned on to the vehicle, everything uh, on and warmed up, we're going to go ahead and click edit. And then we're going to read the VNet channels. And basically what this is going to do is going to allow you, it's going to send a signal to the VNet recorder and basically see if we have any new channels. So as it does that, what's going to happen if we have two of these plugged in, it's going to say, can device the same ID as already used by another channel a serial number and AF Cylinder 1 are basically on the same ID, so they're both programmed as AF Cylinder 1. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and change that to AF Cylinder 2. So what we're going to do is just click OK, and then it's going to say de the device is programmed successfully. We're going to go ahead and select OK again. This is going to say uh, the VNet now sees some new channels. Would you like to add it to our, our real-time telemetry? We're going to go ahead and hold off on that right now, and we'll do that in a second. So we're going to click No. So what we have here is we have an AF cylinder 1 channel and we have an SN and a long serial number. The serial number is on the back of the controller that will tell you which one is which. So since this one is already programmed for AF cylinder 1, all we have to do is program this one to AF cylinder 2. And to do that, all we have to do is right click on the channel and we're going to locate where it says VNet ID in our box and we're going to go ahead and click the drop down box and we're going to locate AF ratio cylinder number 2. And then from there, all we need to do is click Send Configuration, and it's going to go ahead and say the device is programmed successfully. It'll click OK, and then you're going to click OK to get out of that box. And one last thing, when I was talking about uh, the real-time telemetry, what we can do is we can add these to our real-time telemetry window if we want to do that. So we're going to right-click on the V300 module channel, and it's going to tell you all defined channels and the currently selected real-time channels. So currently we have two read in, but they're not in real time. So what we want, we want to do is go ahead and you can click them individually or you can click all with the arrow pointing to the right. And as you do that, it will populate those over in the real time window. And from there, you just click send configuration. OK, and then OK to get out of that box. And then from there, all you need to do is just click file and save. Or you can click the little, the little icon right there that has the save button. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And basically that's all you got to do for the programming if you're going to add multiple air fuel sensors onto your system. It's really easy, but uh, if you get stuck, we got some videos for you on our YouTube page uh, at Racepack Media, or you can check us out online at racepack.com, and uh, we always have tech guys Monday through Friday on the phones too for you.